So the guys at Craig have been sending out a bunch of these uh, shop tables, which is pretty much just a sawhorse with two folding wings, uh, sending them out for people to review. And I got one through Amazon uh, Vine, where I do a lot of reviewing. And if you take a look online, just look on YouTube, you'll see that there are some really great reviews of this thing. Some reviewers are just talking about all the things you can do with this thing, how easy it is to carry, how easy it is to move, how many attachments that there are, etc. But what they're not doing is they're not talking about the problems with this guy. I'm not going to talk about all the strengths and the wonderful things about this Craig uh, tool station. You can see those features in the other videos online, but I'm just going to talk about what sucks about this thing and the negatives with this work table. It's 150 bucks and you got to wonder if it's really worth it. All right, so your basic configuration is that you've got a couple of fold up wings and a, a, a track here. The track will accommodate a two by four, or in this case, I've got um, like more like a two by five and a half, an old piece of scrap. And uh, this kit comes with a couple of little plastic attachments, real kind of cheapo little plastic um, uh, fixtures, which should allow you to slide this two by four or two by six down the track. But the deal is that uh, you've got to screw them in just right to make them slide. And I'm not guessing that they're going to last all that long. This one's a little bit tight to get it to get in. I've been having to bang it to get it to fit. Now I guess I can unscrew that fixture just a little bit. Let's say you've got a piece you're going to be cutting. The idea is that you would cut into your wood instead of the sawhorse itself. So it's a good idea, just poorly executed. All right, now the way this guy flips up is that you need to lift this bottom tray. Check out this bottom tray. It is so crappy. I just cannot believe it. I mean, seriously squishy. Uh, you need to lift that guy up and you can pull it by your hand or with your foot and get this table together. But look at how wobbly this thing is. Seriously wobbly. And there's absolutely no catch to keep it together. So what, what I've been doing is I've been using a couple of pinch clamps uh, just to get this thing to stay shut. Um, because otherwise it will pop wide open. It's crazy. These guys at Craig, they didn't even add just a little attachment here to keep it closed. The other thing is that your handle is down here and it's a bit of a stretch to get it under your arm. It's a lot easier to hold it here, but if you do that, the whole thing falls open. You'll notice, check it out, that it's pretty solid this way. I'll grant it that, pretty solid. But look at the amount of play you've got. This thing. And that's on all four corners, just wobbly, wobbly as all heck. It just doesn't lock in. In addition, I would say that I'm pretty suspicious of plastic and uh, this is a work table where this entire top deck is plastic. If you check some of the Amazon reviews, people's work decks actually arrived chipped and broken. So this is not something I would want to do any kind of heavy work on with a hammer or even a saw. All right, now there's definitely some cool things about it. Um, this guy, once you've got it adjusted right, can travel down your work table and uh, hold things in place, but only when you get it set up right. So you've got to kind of bend this just right and squeeze it and, well, it doesn't really hold it in place. 
So what do I need to do? Tighten this guy down, you would think. All right, so I tighten it a little bit. But then it still slides. So it doesn't really hold things in place. And that is as tight as I can go. Totally jacked down, my workpiece still moves. So, you know, it sounds like a great system. You've got this moving clamp here in the middle, but in fact, it's just not that great. And if you're a little bit loose on this guy, it's just ridiculous. Like you can just move this stuff all over the place. Uh, I gotta say, it does come with some bench dogs, however, and uh, those are nice and they do fit in the holes perfectly. And if you have other bench dogs from other systems, you can fit them in there too. Unfortunately, what you see online in terms of product representation and sponsored ads, especially about tools in particular, what you see is not always representative of the tool and all of its, uh, all of its features. This guy's got some good things going for it. And it also has just some crazy design features, some real wobbliness, and it's just unstable. Now, I'm guessing there are a lot of people out there who think Craig tools are the bomb and the best. And I support you. I understand they make some good stuff. But unfortunately, this uh, work table sawhorse combo is just cheap plastic and really wobbly.